we created a 24 week virtual crash course on how to make a movie and we're working with Hampton High School, Phoebus High School, Bethel High School, and Kickatan High and making four short films. Um, each school gets about uh, three days to shoot and then we're going to have our inaugural Next Generation Storytellers Film Festival at the American Which Theater. We'll create an inner competition between the schools and there will be a winner and the Virginia Film Commission will be giving them an award. Black Magic Cameras is going to provide the winner with a, a Black Magic camera, cinema camera. Um, so yeah, it's just a, it's really going to be an amazing experience for this, this youth. I'm pretty stoked. I'm not really that nervous. I mean, I'm not the one in front of the camera, except for right now, <laughs> but I think the biggest thing I'm feeling is just pride in what I've been able to do. And they talked about the whole process and I knew from the second that they talked about it, I wanted to be on the project. I wanted to direct, if possibly act in it, anything I could do, because bringing Hollywood to Hampton is very important. It's been a life-changing experience to work with Jacob and Trent, actual professionals in the field. And it really has made this whole thing feel attainable rather than just, you know, a far off distant land. So we're really excited about this particular opportunity because it's a different type of acting and different type of crew work than we've experienced before. And just the opportunity to work with people in the business is amazing. Well, that's the word for sure. It's professional. They're saying a lot of things that I don't know what means, like uh, Roy Wagner called for an apple box and I almost lost it. I'm like, what is an apple box? I don't know what to get him. Getting this professional experience is, I think, very useful because if I ever put myself in a situation where I'm um, an assistant on set or first AD or something like that, I can know what needs to happen. I can see what needs to be done by having this experience beforehand. Okay, so I didn't expect this to be like this big when they said we we're going to be able with professional equipment. I thought they're gonna give us the equipment as like as a as a drama club with film it, but no, there's actual camera people in there, there's actual directors. Everything feels so real. You kind of forget it's it's still a high school project, but it feels like you're an adult doing adult level stuff. I, I saw Trent and Jacob and I was like, it, it felt so unreal to me. I know I saw them a few months ago, but it's just like, oh my gosh, we're really it's really happening. They're really good mentors. So they've been helping me and talking me through how I should do certain scenes or how to get myself prepared to do certain scenes. And I think it's really helped me a lot. This is something where our mentors are passionate about and you know they're they are willing to do this for next to nothing. Yeah, so Mercedes Williamson, she was on Yellowstone. Mark Rosano is also another producer. He uh, produced Beauty and the Beast on Broadway for the entire run on Broadway. You know, we have Roy Wagner here. He was a two-time Emmy Award-winning cinematographer. And, you know, he walks them through those shots and, and says, you know, what do you think about this? And there's a lot of questions that present themselves to him. And, uh, you know, he's a wealth of knowledge. I don't teach as much as nurture. Uh, teaching requires structure. And there's no such thing as structure in filmmaking. One thing that's great is you listen, which I'm very impressed with. You're a very good listener and you're observant, which I think is a pretty impressive thing to be in the film industry. I've always wanted to be an actor, and I felt like it was a good experience for me to do things like this because it's what I want to do. Gosh, working with Hampton City Schools and these students has been such a a humbling experience. Not only are they, they're humble and they want to learn so much. Uh, it's almost like there's not enough time in the day. Everybody has been very open to suggestion. They're interested. They they listen attentively. We're working with some of the best film people in Hollywood and they're so interested and so passionate. They show up. I mean, they and it's not that they show up, they show up. They are so willing to go above and beyond. Personally, I feel very humbled to uh, be a mentor to them and to see their projects come to fruition. Yeah, so they write it, they direct it, uh, they act in it, and then um, you know all of those uh, principal crew positions that you can't teach virtually over 24 weeks, like camera operators, gaffer, uh, key grip, cinematographer, um, we've flown in people and also utilize local crew members as well for those key positions. And then students will shadow them 
and fill in any other position that uh, you know interests them. He got us behind the scenes, able to actually call the shots and get my ideas out there for what I wanted to be portrayed. So overall, it's been good working with them. They've given out, out some great suggestions to make the film really be how it needs to be and captured the way I wanted it to be. Today, like I felt like more encouraged to ask to be involved more. So today I've been doing Slate and getting information, helping other people know what's going on. It's just a really interesting experience, you know, getting to see behind the camera, on the camera, offset and onset kind of things and what goes on behind the scenes of things as such. This, this experience, this little film festival that we're putting together, uh, like it couldn't be more deserving. These kids couldn't be more deserving. No matter what age you are or how much experience you have, you're never too old to learn something new. And every day I find out something I hadn't really thought of that way. And sometimes it comes from the experienced filmmakers we're working with, but sometimes I learn from the students themselves. If this is the career that you would like to choose, it is not easy. <laughs> It is not easy at all. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. I definitely want to say be willing to compromise and alter. You just have to be willing to change and adapt. The story went through so many different versions. If you ever do want to get into like short film, you have natural time for acting. The best thing you want to get over is your stage fright and your nervousness. Having having to look at a big camera is at first it's like, oh, so you like my speed and slur but after a while it gets easier. Endless, there's endless possibilities for what people can do. There is a place for your interests that lie. Whether you're in lighting, sound, you want to be on camera, behind the camera, it's completely up to you and there definitely is a place for you here. Just trust yourself, trust the process and trust the team. Don't don't argue with the team. The team the team that was best. Just get in there, start telling stories with your phone, get a camera in your hand. Just write stories. You just have to do it over and over again. I, the, one of the questions that has come up is like, how do I, you know, have, tell, a, tell a story? Uh, how can I uh, better tell a story? And the only advice I can say is just keep writing. Best, the best writers out there write every single day. I'm going to be writing all over the summer because of this program. So I hope I'll have something even better to bring next year. So I've been around huge, crazy, you know, the biggest film festival in the United States, arguably in the world. And uh, I can honestly say that this is more fun. This is actually more fun because it's grassroots and to see this community uh, come together the way that it has is, is, is amazing. The ultimate goal eventually will be to get the, them, the students doing all those jobs, getting the cameras in their hands so they get the camera experience. Um, you know, but, but now, right now, it's a, an educational process and uh, there's a lot of shadowing going on, a lot of questions being asked and answered, which is fantastic. That's why we're doing it. And, uh, it's, been, it's been really rewarding because uh, we've seen a lot of smiles on, on faces. We've seen a lot of happy tears. Our cinematographer had a student walk up to him after the first of the four films that we completed and said, why us? And it got us very emotional because this is a chance that not everybody gets. And to be able to be part of that and make some dreams come true, whether they go into show business professionally or not, I don't think anybody we've worked with will ever forget this experience in their first movie. For me personally, I mean, I wish that this was something that I could have had in my life early on. And now to actually see it come to life and to have the writers here and the actors here and us here, it's kind of surreal, but it's also, it's kind of magical, it's fun. And you get to see the excitement in, in their faces too. So that makes it worth it. That makes it worth like the long hours, the crazy, it's good crazy. It's so amazing to be able to offer students this opportunity at such a young age. Yeah, and I'll actually piggyback on that because you know, you can have all the talent in the world, but you have to be connected. You know, and Hollywood is so far from Hampton, um, but not anymore. It's been just amazing, the fact that I've been able to just have this type of working relationship with people in Hollywood, because I would never have dreamed. If you told me last year that I was doing this, I would not have believed it. And again, this just whole process has made me feel that I can really do this. I don't know that there's anything specific about the entertainment industry that's different than anything else, aside from that you can't ever let anybody steal your dreams especially you. Uh, there, it's complicated, it's difficult, it's a dance, 
Um, it's not always in the direction you think it's going to be. It's sometimes uh, in moments where you think it's a failure, it's when you have your greatest success. And so you have to be prepared to embrace whatever's in front of you and uh, follow your dream.